Hey guys, what's up? No makeup at all. I do like to update you with um, what I do as far as my look because I feel like I am, you guys know I have like a certain look and I know my face is not gonna match my body when we're done with this. So I don't need your fucking comments. Think I'm blind, like don't be dumb. Um, I will then later bronze my chest with some bronzer to blend it, okay? So just shut up. Like, guys are dumb. You want me to walk out with a brown face and a white chest? No. Anyway, already off on the wrong foot. Okay, so I have good skin. Like, sorry, you know what I mean? I don't have any, like, <sighs> tricks for those who don't. Um, Watch me, like, fucking break out all this at that. Okay, so I use this. This is the thing. I'm not going to tell you one by one what I use. I will put it below, okay? And you can watch. Like, I, you guys can just look. I'm going to link things for you. <sighs> okay. Um, this is not a must. It's the La Mer. It's really expensive. You can also use this, to be honest. Okay? This is the True Match. I just have this La Mer, and I spent a lot of money on it. So I use it. Okay, I just put this, like, here. Kind of, like, in the high points of my face. And, yes, I'm not a makeup artist, but... Um, I know about my face. Okay. So that's what you need to learn. You need to learn about your face. You need to be self-aware about your face and what's ugly about it and what's not ugly about it. And you need to enhance your own features because that's all you have to work with. You know what I mean? Um, so I kind of just put it here. Like we're like, I have pores, like I have pores here and like maybe here. And maybe a little bit here. And then I hate white eye sockets. It's so weird when people have white eye sockets. It grosses me out. Okay. So that is basically the base. Then I saw Victoria Beckham was trying to like sell her. Look at I'm like red and white. I know it's dress. Um, I was trying to sell her contour stick. I almost bought it because I she did like that. You guys probably saw it on TikTok, right? Like it looks so good. I just got this. It's really good. I'll also try to link it. If, if I can't find it, then screenshot. Okay. It's Essence, I think. And I just do this. And all she did was like. Look at that. It's instantly slimmer. I mean, I know that it's like nothing, but the way she did it, like just kind of spoke to me. She also like brought it up here, which I don't really like because then it makes feel like it makes your nose look really long. I don't like a long nose. I like a small nose. Okay. So dumb trick. Anyway, um, that. Then I'm going to take some bronzer. I go between different bronzers. I love this one. And then I got this one from QVC. Fucking dumb mistake. I just like got bamboozled. Um, <laughs> don't ever order from them. I swear to God. It was like one dime. Um, but this is the It Cosmetics, the pores one. It's fine. Um, I don't, uh, it's fine. This is the same and it's cheaper. I just bought this because it came with a brush and I needed a brush. And I, I know that it's, It Cosmetics does pretty good brushes. So it kind of like made sense to buy it. Um, this has a little bit of shimmer in it, a tiny bit, but not a great dose. Like I will not wear a shimmer. You know that I will never wear a shimmer. Shimmer is disgusting. It's giving drag queen. Okay. We don't do drag queen makeup here. I fucking hate drag queen makeup. It's so creepy. Um, okay. So I just ruined my con. I just, this is what I do. I don't care. I'm not a makeup artist. I just know what looks good on me. And yes, I am 30 fucking nine years old and I look better than you. So don't tell me that something about, oh, that doesn't match or something. No, I look better than you. Shut up. And I do like to have a lot of bronzer. If you guys go back to my original videos, you used to fucking kill me for wanting to put a lot of bronzer. Um, I'm a bronzer person, okay? I swear, I'm very Florida. <laughs> I'm not from Florida. I've never been to Florida. I feel like I'm very, like, white trash Florida with bronzer. bronzer. Okay. Uh, I'm also very out of breath because I'm pregnant. You know that. Okay. <sighs> this is giving me a headache and I'm getting hot. Okay. Um, so that... The next bitch is the fucking eyebrows. Yes, I don't have any eyebrows. Look, this is my eyebrow. It actually looks like I have more in the camera. I have no eyebrows, okay? It's weird. Um, but I'm very, I'm very good at doing, I'm very good at this because I am, I, I paint my face like, like a portrait, okay? Don't, it's, it's weird. It's not like, okay. So I have a bunch of different products and I have like a ten, 10 different pencils and I just mix them all, okay? So I'm gonna start off with this Glossier. 
okay? And I always get the darkest color. Even though I'm not dark, I get the darkest color. I'm gonna do one eyebrow with you, and then I'm gonna finish the other one. So I'm just basically trying to get some fucking product on my face, okay? And I don't have any hair here, which sucks. So we're gonna have to like fake it. Okay, there. That's all I'm gonna use of that. And then kind of let it dry. Let me fix my lip now that I'm sitting here with you. I have this, I don't love it. It's a Makeup Forever, the one everyone has. Um, it's fine. I have very ugly lips. See, I'm very self-aware. My mouth is too small for my face, okay? Do you see how I understand that? There's really nothing I can do about it. I can't have like a lip transplant or I can't like cut my mouth. I heard there are surgeries to do that, to cut your mouth and make it bigger, but I don't know, like whatever. Okay, so what I do is this. I draw where it looks bigger. I also tried to do lip blushing. I tried to make her tattoo up, but she said that it doesn't work like that because your lips are a totally different situation than your mouth, than your skin, and it wouldn't come out the same. So I understand, even though I thought I'd be able to fix myself, but anyway, stop. Then I hate the Cupid's bow. You know that. If you've been around here for a long time, Cupid's bows are ugly. It's very Betty Boop, okay? And it's very like, I love Lucy. It's not cute. It's, I don't like it. Do you? I'm talking about me. Don't fucking come for me. I cut my Cupid's bow off and it gives an angel pout. Straight line. This is now my lip basically that I've cut off, okay? Straight, straight. That's it. Immediately changed my face. Don't tell me it didn't. It looks so much better. Cupid bows are disgusting. Okay, then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fuck with it a little bit. I'm gonna shade and fuck. Imagine going to makeup school. It's stupid. Everyone loves to go to school. Everyone loves to be taught. Everyone loves to go to school for something. They just love to go to school. Like, stupid. Learn yourself. Dumb. Because I've never seen this. I've never seen this. I've never really seen. Sleepy Droop was from like old movies from like the 40s, okay? Like it's a culmination of a lot of different people. Priscilla Presley, um, Sophia Loren. Like it's, it's a culmination of a lot of those kind of people. And I created my own look from it. Okay. That's basically it. I know this looks a little bit wild because it's kind of falling off. I get it. But for me, it's better than having a, a mouth that goes inwards. Like it goes in. I need to have more lip. Um, and unfortunately, I told you I was born with ugly lips. So this is the best I can do. This is Giorgio Armani number 102. And I love it. And I don't swipe. I don't swipe. Okay, stop swiping lipstick. Pat lipstick, blot lipstick. Make it look like it's a part of your mouth. I'm not trying to look like I have lipstick on. I'm trying to in just enhance my beauty. Like, wow, her eyes are that big when she does sleepy drip. Obviously not. Sleepy drip is an obvious design, whatever. But lips, like, I'm not obviously wearing lipstick. I could just, this could, and especially as like the day goes on, my lips just look natural. So that's that. Now let's go back to the eyebrow. Okay, so I just have a lot of like, this is what I bought from QVC. Yeah, so I, they had like three of these cosmetics for like $25 or something. Okay, so I don't love it. I'm telling you, I don't love anything really. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do my eyebrow and tell you what I do. I'm gonna make this part really thick and straight because I don't like a curved eyebrow. I know a lot of people out there do. I have a lot of friends out there who have curved eyebrows. I don't care, it's about me. 
I hate curved eyebrows. It's it, it to be honest, it gives drag queen. I don't like it. Um, straight eyebrows is very um, Asian inspired. It's very model. Off, it's very model, like Slavic model. Um, and that's what we should be doing. Like it's very classy. And arched eyebrows are very white trash. And it's just not. Mao is so aggressive sometimes. <laughs> He's so funny. Mama! Look at before and after. Okay. Um, I'm just going to finish this eyebrow. And then I'm going to... Come here, Ming. I'm upstairs. You know where I am. Come on. Okay. Then I have this. This um, is from NYX. And I just basically don't care. I just need to get product on my face. Oops, this one, careful, it does that. It does that like, it leaves a, leaves a turd on my face if you push too hard. Um, but I just need to get, diff you need to get several different products, whether it's wax, like um, water-based, whatever, pencils, because it all ends up looking like hair if you do it correctly. And always brush up and make them fluffy. Then my new thing, I think they're like playing downstairs, is this NYX thing. It's like um, almost like a brown eyeliner, but it's to make streaks like hairs. It's the best. before and after. Pretty good, right? Okay. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to go and use this afterwards. Um, also, I got to show you guys, I have a new jewelry launch. Look at these. These are the Grand Crystal Emeralds. They are like vintage-y. They are these massive crystal colored emerald, uh, emerald colored crystals that are like in these really large settings. Each one is like individually set. So it's like a seamless setting. It's so pretty and so vintage. Everything right now, all of my new stuff is five to ten dollars off. Plus, I'm doing free uh, United U.S. shipping on the entire site. So basically, these are five dollars off right now. Plus, shipping is another five dollars. So they're ten dollars off. I'll show you all my new stuff. I have. You guys know I've been talking a lot about this deep gold tone I'm doing because a lot of my gold is very bright, right? And I'm just more into darker, deeper like gold. Maybe because it's like falls here or whatever, and. I want like a deeper gold. So um, I know I've been working a lot with like a deeper gold tone chain, but I want to come out with some layering chains that were deeper gold. This is my um, deep gold everyday curb. I love it. It's so buttery and comfortable. It's like the best. If you just want like the best, just unisex gold curb that is comfortable and amazing, get this. And it's also, I think five or $10 off plus free shipping. This is my new super gem cross. It is so pretty. Each one of those crystal diamonds are surrounded by a halo of little crystals too. So gorgeous. This is a 20 inch and it, it's very blown out right now because it's bright here, but it is so detailed. I don't know if you guys can tell. And it comes in gold or silver. I have a lot more. Um, go check it out, but it's a good time to show. Okay, I'll show you guys more later, but what are we doing now? So um, typically I don't go out with one eyebrow. No, <laughs> I need more blood. I need more bronzer. Um, I'm going to just use my NARS one. This one, um, is a little bit darker. It's a Laguna matte. If I feel like I need a little bit more, I'll just go over it. I know you guys are going to kill me. I get it. I know, but I got to put my, if I put my hair down, you'll see. I know this looks gross. Like it's giving drag queen. I get it. Um, but it's just better. Okay. So now usually I lately I have not been doing a lot of sleepy droop, but I'm going to do it for you guys because you're not getting it. And I saw a lot of people um not just doing it doing it wrong so i'm gonna do it i'm sorry i just put a blunt bronzer i just do and you can say it's too dark i know it is but we don't want to put my bangs down and my hair down it's different okay so sleepy droop let me finish my eyebrow my eye okay so those are done and i know they're different but my eyebrows are just different plus i don't have any eyebrows so it's just the way my like the muscle on my face lays it's just not 
they're not the same. Okay, this is from Madison Reed. It's just a, like a cover up, whatever, for like roots and eyebrows. I really like it because it's the right color. So you guys can get it. It's the dark brown and it just works well. Like I've been using it for a long time and I just do, it kind of just makes everything a little bit darker, sets everything and gives it a little bit more tint because I like to have dark eyebrows. I feel like it brings out my eyes and it gives my face more, it's just prettier, right? Okay, so that's what I do. And then let me just brush a little bit um, to smooth things out. Okay, there. So those are my eyebrows. It's a little blotchy right there. Um, okay, so the next thing is a sleepy droop and um, my sleepy droop has changed like as has changed period, whatever. Um, how do I do it lately? Okay, so I've been doing more of a, like a casual sleepy droop, so we'll do it that way. I don't use liquid eyeliner anymore. I use like just basically brown. Where is it? Because when I was looking at some of my older videos, it does look a little extreme. Um, and I feel like this way, it's almost a little bit less obvious. So you kind of look like it is your eyebrow or it is your eye. I mean, it's not, but where the fuck is it? That's nice. I'm trying to make a video and I can't find my pencil, even though I know it's right here. Okay. Um, so this is the pencil. It's the infallible and, um, it is the brown. Okay. So let's go. Remember, we're not going, we, if you guys not, have not been here for Sleepy Drew tutorial, um, don't fuck it up because I hate when I see people doing Sleepy Drew tutorial and it's wrong and then you just fuck it up and now it's wrong and you just don't get it. So just pay attention. Like, no, you're not going to go up. We're not drag queens here, okay? We're just called Sleepy Droop. Therefore, it goes down. It's sleepy, okay? Sleepy Droop. Not like, we're not doing drag queen, like, up fucking, what are those? Winged liner. Oh my God, I'd rather fucking die. Okay. So. That's it. Don't fucking do any more than that. Just stop. <sighs> okay. And to be honest, don't do it twice. Just stop. Like, you know what I mean? The more you do it, the more it's going to fuck up. All right. So, um, the mascara is, I don't buy mascaras. I love the sample like the good samples. I think the samples are so much better than like the real thing. I feel like they make their samples better so that you buy their full size and the full size suck. So I always get them from like Sephora with my points. Okay, um, I don't curl my eyelashes or anything. When I curl my eyelashes, that's not sleepy droop because your eyes go up again. Um, and I hate that new look on TikTok where everyone's eyes look like fucking like spiders. Like they're using that babe lash stuff. Their eyes, eyelashes are getting really long. And they're like all the way up to here and they look like a fucking doll. Like it's a lot. If you, I, I see people like that work or whatever, like at a makeup store, or department store, and they have those lashes, like girl, calm the fuck down. It's like, it looks bad. Okay. So I'm going to just sweep on a little bit, just basically to coat my lashes. Um, I'm not going to do real mascara. Okay. This is just to give me color. And then I'm going to comb through. I'm going to comb it out. I just want to, my eyelashes to appear to be as long as they can look like by getting color on them um okay okay so let me now get this thing and just comb them brush them out it's basically gonna get any clumps out okay you're just gonna look you just want to look like these are your eyelashes in a way. I'm not trying to like leave any mascara, obvious mascara behind. They just look thicker, see, and like colored. Okay, that's it. And a little bit messy is good. Okay, then... um sleepy droop on the bottom. I use a lighter color. I use like this revolution eyeliner or um, eyebrow pencil is actually, 
um, really good for the bottom sleepy droop. And it's the darkest one they have. And it's like um, milk, it's not milky, it's like cakey, so it's good. <sighs> okay, let me show you. Start basically in the middle of your eye. Okay, this is the start. Basically, this is like the gauge, okay? We're gonna gauge it from here. All right, then I work on the other eye. Okay, so then I work on the other eye and um, I kind of just like play with it from here. Like, you know, you just need basically, you just basically need one pencil for everything. It's, cause I'm not, I'm not doing other, anything other than painting my face. So I could basically just use this one liner for this. This needs to be thicker here. So as I go, I just kind of correct things. This I could have used for here. Like, you know what I mean? You could just technically, like it's supposed to be pretty simple. Um, and straight and fucking straight, bitch. Okay, like straight. Okay. Um, Okay, so that is Sleepy Droop for now. I'm gonna do a little bit more mascara on the bottom now that I'm done with Sleepy Droop, and then I'll show you guys what else. Okay. So that is Sleepy Droop. Okay, then the next thing I'm gonna do is show you guys how to take it to the next level because it's um, it's kind of more fun, and I, you know, a lot of the times you guys don't even know I'm doing it because you've never asked me. This is what I would do normally, but if I'm gonna go to like an event or um, something where I'm like going to, I do lashes, but I don't do lashes. How you do lashes, I would never do that. I basically make my own. You have to get ones that are like bigger through here and shorter at the ends, okay? And then you cut them in half, not in half. Do I cut them in half, let's see, no. So I cut them, do you see on this one, I did it. So this one, I will use this part and not this part and I'll use that part for the other eye. Let me cut it. So I did it again where this was the lash. I'm only using that side and that side. So it's just a very small ending. I know you can buy the ending. You can already buy ones that are pre-made for the ends. I don't like them as much, okay? I just, whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna take this and put a little glue on the end. Okay, um, let me show you the thing about this. We're not trying to make our lashes look thicker with this. We're trying to make our eyes look bigger with this. So I'm gonna place it. So it, it might be extending a little bit on the outside. To be honest, it might not be on my eye lash. You have to understand like the philosophy of the sleepy droop to understand what I'm doing. You don't get it. If you don't, I, I just don't, I have no vocabulary, so it's hard to explain. And I just expect you guys to get it and you just don't. Okay. All right. My, eyelid, my fucking nails are kind of long for this, but. today all right hold on do you see what I did okay do you see that immediately? Just made the eye bigger, like way bigger. 
Um, that's what Sleepy Droop does, but these just this just makes it even bigger and like sexier and sleepier and bitchier and it's just cuter in a way. It's like very bratty and I love that. Um, it's very like sad girl, depressed and miserable as fuck, but hot and rich. That is my vibe. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Are your guys' eyes totally fucking different? This one will just turn up. It's just, it literally is the weirdest shit ever. Okay. Look how pretty these are. I can't. Okay. You can't see, I know. You see what I mean? Like, it's just sleepy droop. Okay. I love it. This is my vibe. Yes, it is. Okay. Now let's take down the hair. Um, And then I want to just do one complaint with you guys. I was going to talk about, I want to talk about something, but then I'm going to talk about something first. So this is the look. Um, I love it. It's like, and then I do, I don't do middle part on this. I do side part, except I know I have that albino patch you guys make fun of me for that you tell you say looks like gray hair when it's not gray hair. So I'm all like nervous that it shows. So sometimes I just do this part on that side because I don't have the albino patch on that side. And like, but I feel like it's cuter on this side, of course. Um, just so for like us, we'll just put it there. Okay. So, um, hold on, I'm blinking. I have like a tech because you guys irritate me. Okay. So, all right, let me talk about something and it's kind of having to do with relationships. And I feel like you guys do come to me for this because I am a master relationship person. I am. I'm going to take credit for that. And what I'm doing is going to be fixing my mouth because I can see it's ugly. So, okay. Um, this is the NYX Peekaboo Natural. Okay. So I want to tell you guys right now something about engagement rings, okay? I'm going to tell you right now about engagement rings. Okay, when I was younger, getting an engagement ring that was massive was a big deal, okay? So it's an immaturity thing, but it's not really. Let me tell you what is important about engagement rings, and I don't care if you're a little... Um, I don't need your, I don't need your opinions here. Go start your own channel and tell me that you've been married for 100 years and that you're right and a ring doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck if that's your fucking opinion. Okay. Period. I'm talking about men nowadays having to prove and step it up. Okay. So I'm not talking about getting some huge fucking massive expensive ring. I'm talking about a man doing the most for you as most, as much as they can. Okay. What I mean, they need to put themselves out a little bit. I really hate so much when a girl is like, I don't care. I don't care. Like a gold band would be fine with me. Whatever you want to give me, bitch, you are so low, low balling yourself, dude. Like you may not, you may not give a fuck. You may be like a super tomboy kind of girl or like not care about a ring. A ring is very important because it shows that the, it shows like so many things, but you basically what you, you, your man needs to overextend himself a little bit. Okay. You cannot get some costume ring, some sterling silver ring, some small ass, like nothing ring. It's a sign of disrespect, to be honest. You're not, a lot of you guys are not going to believe me. Sorry, I'm going to text. A lot of you guys are not going to understand. You're not going to like, you're going to be like, no, that's not true, Alex. I got married with no ring and my, my marriage lasts forever. I'm not talking to you. Okay. I'm not talking to the, 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 the four people out there that that works with. That's just like, it's abnormal. Okay. It's not that it's abnormal. It's fine, but that's not the way it normally is. A ring is a sign of like a man pining for you and trying because in the end, a man does not, the ring is not for the guy. You know what I mean? So having a man spend a lot on a ring is literally just for you. It's not for him. He doesn't give a fuck. He would much rather spend nothing on the ring on a ring. Can you believe it? Okay, get, but also, I know I'm like stuttering everywhere. Also, if a man is, spends a lot for himself, um, I don't, it depends on his situation. So he needs to overextend himself a little bit because it's, he's, he's, it's real. A guy will not overextend himself 
And you know what I mean? On someone he's not, he's not totally sure about, you know what I mean? On someone that he's not totally in on. I'm not talking about going broke. I'm not talking about putting yourself in debt, but I, maybe a little bit. I am talking about a man totally going above and beyond, not in a, in a responsible way, but that also stings his pocket a little bit. Do you know what I mean? If someone comes to you with a little cheap, chintzy, nothing ring, I'm sorry, bitch. It doesn't show that he is really like, like he doesn't, it doesn't, bitch. It doesn't. I'm telling you the truth. So let me show you my ring. Hold on. Okay. So my ring is, I feel like I don't wear it all the time. I love it. So let me tell you about my ring. I'm fucking fat right now. <gasps> oh my God. It like barely fits. I'm so fucking bloated. Okay. So this is my ring and, um, it's like a two, not, not quite two and a half. It's beautiful. Okay. But it's not ostentatious. I think it's just a beautiful classic, um, engagement ring. And it does fit me. It's just that I'm bloated right now and I'm sticky. Okay. And stop. I promise it will fit. It fits. I wore it the other day. Okay. So, and then the setting is a 1970s original. I've talked about this, um, gold setting in like cathedral style. I love it so much. It's gorgeous. Okay. And this was a very generous gift, a very generous, um, proposal. Okay. This was, it, it definitely, it definitely was a, it was perfect from what my husband, it was perfect. Okay. It was exactly what I wanted. Like this is my style and it wasn't too little and it wasn't too much. It was perfect. It was, you know, it was a lot. I, did you, do you understand what I mean? This, someone would not, so you need to have a man over extend themselves a little bit. It's, it shows your worth. Like no one would come to me do you think anyone would come to me with a chintzy piece of shit ring and ask me? It just wouldn't happen. Like you need to have a little bit of self-respect. Okay. And I understand if some people are like, we're young, we're starting off. Okay. I'm not, you, so you don't have to get something. This is not even that big. Something as big as this, but for the man, whatever man you choose and love, they need to overextend themselves a little bit to propose to you. Okay. I really, really honestly and truly believe that. Um, it, maybe you don't like solitaires, then get like a band or something with like diamonds in it, but it has to be, don't do this. You guys, like I see so many, and by the way, to me, I don't care. You guys are going to kill me. The Moissanite thing is so gross to me. It's so giving like fake, fake bag, fake designer bag. You can't afford, you want like the big showy ring. It's a Moissanite is glass. Is it not? Or it's like, yeah, it's like crap. It's nothing like it's not engagement ring status. Like why, what people are doing this and they're like ruining the whole, the whole like wedding ring, wedding ring thing. Cause everyone's walking around with these massive rings and they're all fake. It's just like the fucking designer bags. DH gate has ruined everything and everything is giving DH gate. Like we hate everything designer now. And like anyone with a big ring, if you're not fucking rolling in it, bitch, we know it's fake. Are you dumb? Um, I'm sorry. If you are like a, like a low income kind of person, you have a Chanel bag. No, it's probably fake. That's the truth. Don't come for me. Okay. And if you're the same way and you have a, a massive ring, it's Moissanite. Okay. Why do you do that? Just get a, get a fucking real, a diamond is a diamond. It's a forever thing. It, it took a fucking a bajillion years for this to be created in the fucking earth. Okay. Why do you have, it's so fake to me. And I know so many guys are mad at me. I don't care. This is my opinion. So many of you have moissanites. I get it. Like so many of you do because you want the big rock. Well, we know it's fake. We know it. We know it because that rock would probably be 200 grand. Okay. In real life. Like, are you dumb? Do you think we're dumb? No, we're not dumb. We know. Okay. So that's the truth about moissanites. It, it really pisses me off because everyone around now has these big diamond rings and it's so stupid. Like you guys dumb. Don't, I don't know. Don't do that. It also should be, it's a very lack of like, it's a lack of like, um, like realness between you and like the you and your husband in the marriage it's just like a fake i don't know just get a smaller fucking real ring to me that's my opinion on it okay uh, that's what i believe that's what i believe but maybe you don't i'm sure you don't a lot of people are into this moissanite thing and because you want the big rock well why like why it's so dumb like that's just my opinion okay and then i'm not going to get into anything having to do with um the attacks right now. I love my hair like this right now. The attacks um, in Gaza. I don't even, okay, whatever. I know like Jews versus Palestine. So I know. If you guys want to know more about my opinions, you can follow me on Truth. I talk more on there. I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to go into it because every, like, dude, I can't even say it because 
I can say it's not that I will say like obviously the, if you had to be fucking deaf down and blind to say to say what didn't go on is fucking absolutely atrocious like absolutely fucking atrocious you guys know I'm half Jewish I don't have to go any more into it okay so duh my thing is this bitch and I have said this over and over again and no fuck you okay we're not doing this right now we are not doing this anymore I will I will not shut up I will not shut the fuck up um I, th I really hate <sighs> okay starting over i american jews are known to be super woke and left and it's the cringiest thing i've ever known in my life because conservatives are the one who like jews democrats don't like jews okay that is the truth of the matter okay yet american jews while they sit here comfortable as fuck and a lot of them are very wealthy jewish people typically are wealthy they do very well okay um, so sitting here comfortable as fuck, they consider, they continue to vote the way they do. And, um, the truth is I don't see a lot of them being very patriotic. I don't. And you're going to say this one bitch came on my page and she was like, what do you do? You sit there and you watch who posts American flags on the 4th of July. Yes, I do. I absolutely do on the 4th of July and on any kind of American holiday. I watch your ass. I watch your company. I watch you, you fucking fake ass influencer bitch. I watch you. Yes, I do. I watch if you put up an American flag and I see that you don't yet when something happens in Israel, you're the first one to fucking open your mouth and start putting the fucking Israeli flag up. Why? As you sit here in your privileged ass, comfortable life, your rich, comfortable life, you sit here and you don't post the American flag. How dare you, you scum, you fucking scum. Do you know how much that fucking pisses me off? Don't. There are, okay, I'm going to give you an example. I'm not going to say names, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay. There is a cup, there is a, um, these like sisters who own from family or else they'd be nothing from family passed, they would pass down a department store in New York city. Okay. So you probably know I'm talking about already. They never, they never post anything about pro-America on 4th of July. They're silent. Those motherfucking bitches. I will never support their, their store. They're fine. Okay. They've got a beautiful department store. They've got, you know, family money down the fucking wazoo. Okay. They never, ever, ever fucking post anything on the 4th of July ever. Why? Why do you sit here in this country? Why don't you move? Why don't, if, why don't you get the fuck out? Okay, if you, why don't you get the fuck out? You're more than welcome to leave. If you're not proud to be in this country, you sit here, you're safe, you're rich, you're privileged, and you don't post the American flag, but then when there's a problem in Israel, you post the Israeli flag. Shame on you, bitch, shame on you. There's also a lot of, a lot of what's it called? Um, influencers, Jewish influencers, okay? Who I know are so left. There's this one mom who's fucking her child up. Like, I can tell she's like wanting it to be gay. She's like co coaching it to like, do, okay, I'm not going to get into it. Literally to like take ballet classes and like, it's just like do weird shit. Like it's a boy. Okay. She, I, whatever. She never, never. And she's also like rich family money. Doesn't have a job. Literally just lives this high life. Doesn't have, a, pretends like she's like some big influencer when she's not. I mean, she kind of is, but not really. Family money, like spends, like has every bag and shoes in the world, doesn't have a job, doesn't ever post anything about America. Yet when something happens in Israel, she's the first, she'll, she'll post something about, with an Israeli flag. Do you, know how, do you know how awful that is? Why do you do that? Why are you not thankful and proud and happy to live here? If you're not, go back then, go live there. Go to fucking Israel and live there. If you're so proud, if you're so fucking proud, why don't you go live? where you're proud of. Do not understand. It goes for everyone. It goes for everyone. You guys know how fucking mad I get about this. I cannot stand the ingrates, fucking ingrates here in the United States. You guys, I don't like the way things are going at all. I think that American wokeness is destroying the country so bad and is seeping into the, into Europe. It is seeping into Europe so bad. We, we are just our stupid ass woke policies and our like crazy trans shit and all this stupid crap is seeping into the fucking, in the Western world and ruining it. Yes, it is. So I don't like the way things are going, but at the same time, we still live in the greatest country on earth. And if you don't think so, then why don't you leave? You may leave. You may take a flight the fuck out of here and leave. Why are you here? You see what I mean? Why don't you be proud and thankful? Like, I don't like the way things are, but I'm, of course, I'm so fucking proud of to, to be here, to live here. I live here, have some fucking pride. So I'm not going to get into, like, <laughs> I'm not getting into any of this because I already have got into it a lot, but a lot of these American Jewish people make me so fucking mad because I know how they think and I know how they vote. 
I, I know it. I know what they do. And they're destroying the country. It's like the Joy Behars and all those kind of fucking assholes. You know, the Larry Davids, all of them, like the fake phony Jews. I understand that those are like, they're called like bagel eating Jews or something. Like they're not real Jews. They're just like Jewish on the outside. They don't really practice. That's not the fucking point. They are Jewish. And they're the first ones to like be all pro-Israel when something happens. I like, it's just, I don't, I don't want to get into international politics really. I am talking about America, bitch. Where are you? Why are you not proud to be here? If you're not proud, why the fuck are you here? You ingrate bitch. You fucking rich ingrate bitch. It's not like you're struggling. It's not like I'm saying, oh, you know, I can understand. Some people are not thankful or whatever because they are struggling as fuck. Like come from generations of like, so I don't know. I don't, I get it. Okay, there's some people, I can understand what you're saying, but these bitches who are fucking just loaded, don't have to work, safe as fuck, like a privilege as shit, makes me fucking sick, sick, okay? So yes, keep your fucking eyes open. Who is posting the American flag and who isn't? And who's the first person to vote, to, to focus on some other, whatever, you, do you know what I mean? Focus on it and watch it. Yes, you should watch it because we're Americans here. And like, you guys know what I mean, okay? I'm just gonna, fucking mad. I've been wanting to get this out to you guys. For a couple of days, I've been tweeting it, <laughs> tweeting, like putting it on truth and on Instagram here and there. Um, and I know you guys are seeing it and I'm loving it, but I want to do a rant. I can't do a rant on Instagram because they will take it down, but it's disgusting. Okay. It's disgusting. And it's enough. Like it's just, it's the ingratitude. And I don't care if you're going to come on here and say, I hate to live here. I don't want to live here. The moment I can get out, I'm gone. Get out. Get the fuck out. Like, bye. Duh. Like, you know, stupid you sound. People are coming from everywhere, from Africa, all over fucking South America to try to get to the United States, but you don't want to live here. You know how stupid you sound? You're an idiot, okay? You're dumb, okay? And I don't believe you because the moment you would go to another fucking country, you'd be like, hey, I want to come back. I want to come back. Okay, so shut up. All right. Bye.